we're trying to find ways of letting our visitors experience the complexity of some of the natural systems we're trying to teach them about and and using this kind of experience allows us to get across the dynamics of the system much better than a static exhibit does. You feel like you're really there and that you're really a part of it instead of watching the people in a real movie like the people you know talking to each other they're actually talking to you yeah. and you're involved with the problem. I mean people don't come to a museum without expecting to have a certain amount of fun it shouldn't be a dull place and this is not a dull experience. But at the same time, it'll add a way of educating people about natural history that we've never had available to us before. Oh, I like it because it's interactive. So anything that makes a child trace something or follow something or think about a process or how something's getting from A to B, I think is very um, educational. And getting the kids engaged, in addition to being entertained, is the whole point of the exercise. Uh, we don't want this to be just passive entertainment. We want them to be thinking about what they're doing and if they're thinking about it, they're learning about it and that's that's getting done what we want to do. I watched them watch the movie and I watched them interact and play the games at the same time and um, saw that they were really getting into it. They were pushing all the buttons really fast and they were getting excited and laughing. Using this technology, which is you know, really like being inside a video game, is a way of bringing an experience to our guests that um, we can't bring in any other way. You see a lot of stuff that you never see in your real person body, and, and that's really awesome. That's cool. We have a whole generation of kids growing up on gaming. Why can't we do the same kind of technology to try to engage that generation? I thought it was great because it touched all the senses that children learn with. And I know when I was using it, you can read about the parts of the body and learn about science. And at the same time, they get to use the play aspect. Immersion seemed to be the best fit for us. They were willing to work with our educational and scientific uh, missions, trying to figure out ways to bring interactive experiences into the museum. Well, I think it's good because there's a certain level of competition. You're competing against other teams and trying to accomplish a goal. And uh, life's about uh, achieving goals. This is a way for the Smithsonian Natural History Museum to use cutting edge technology to really enhance the visitor's experience and engage them in the educational process. Oh yeah, I would definitely recommend it to other families because it was a great new experience for them where they got to, to be involved. I loved it, I want to go on again.